our boy CPO is finally here in rise of kingdoms but one question remains burning in the heads of many rise of kingdoms players and that is what is what is this p right here next to his emblem he's the only commander in the entire game with that letter p next to his emblem and nowhere in the game does it explain it at all so today we're gonna talk about it what's going on guys cheers now since the moment that cpo was revealed officially people noticed this letter p next to his name and if you click on it nothing happens and i thought that perhaps this p would be explained once cpo comes into the game perhaps it would be listed here in some form or fashion but it's not it's not listed anywhere in the game and people have been wondering what why like why it doesn't make any sense the only logical conclusion that i could come up with is that it implied cpo was pushing p a phrase that is popularized by gunna and future i'm push p push p i'm push p okay jokes aside i did actually reach out to vip support about the p next to cpo's icon i told them hello I have a question regarding the new legendary commander Scipio Africanus why does he have a letter P next to his icon as shown in the image and then I literally just took a screenshot and put the big red uh arrow as if it were an Omniarch thumbnail and that was to just ensure that they knew exactly what I was talking about because when you talk to support you have to be very very explicit and clear so there's no miscommunication with translation and whatnot I then followed up by saying no other commander appears to have this in the game at this point they responded shortly after saying it it means prime the commander is CPO prime that is what they said specifically and that makes sense I mean prime starts with the letter P but why like why is he CPO prime there's I mean what designation does that P have why did it need its own emblem here and why couldn't it be listed somewhere in the information section or something along those lines like why did it have to be on the actual emblem itself why couldn't they have just called him CPO prime right I mean it just seemed odd that they would go ahead and change the way that the actual emblem appears in the game so I followed up and said ah okay will there be more use for this prime emblem or will CPO be the only prime commander VIP support responded saying the logo is mainly to distinguish two different CPO commanders please follow our game for more details and that made me confused because one it's already easy to tell the difference between legendary CPO and epic CPO because they are literally the icons are completely different designs and colors so it would be impossible by my estimation to confuse the two even for a new player I mean they don't even look the same they're not wearing the same armor they could have named this any other Greek name uh, they could have called the Spartacus and people would have been like oh okay like maybe that looks like Spartacus I don't know so they look completely different already that's why I thought the P was kind of weird and I could understand if maybe the original CPO was a legendary commander then okay sure you, you have to really make it clear that they're different because the colors of the emblem are the same but because the colors are so different it just made no sense to me why they felt this p was necessary i was also confused because they suggested that there was information in game for more details which is just not true i mean i, I don't know if you guys have found anywhere where it explains the p but i don't know what the p is okay i don't see the p anywhere if you catch my drift i don't get it okay it's not here it's not under commander power it's not under troop capacity it's not under any of those little little eyes that i'm clicking anywhere it's not under the star upgrade preview okay it's nowhere it's 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 basically nowhere i don't know where it would be it's not here i don't get it so they then said we are sorry that there is currently no specific explanation for the logo displayed in game and that was the last message that i got so that implies that perhaps in the future there will be an explanation for the p however what we know now is that it does mean prime and that it is used to distinguish cpo from epic cpo which again makes no sense one thing that i am speculating on personally is that if they went through all the trouble of including an add-on to the emblem i mean all of the emblems look the same right so for them to actually include this outside of the frame of the emblem I think that they may now have a new formula for designing these emblems what I mean by that is that moving forward commanders may be able to be prime or not and that will decide whether they toggle on the P portion of the emblem design or not what I'm trying to say is that I don't think they would go through all the effort of adding this to the icon just for CPO alone. It just seems like a lot of work for something that's not really needed. So what I'm assuming is that moving forward, perhaps we will see more commanders use this P to designate the prime 
status of a commander now my assumption is that any commanders in the future that would have the p next to their icon would probably be legendary upgrades of existing epic commanders because how could you prime a commander that's already a legendary how could it be better than legendary and, and i know like there's power creep and stuff so like theoretically it could be better in a certain scenario or whatever the case might be but i personally think that they went through the effort to include this add-on to the icon so that way in the future they have the option of including future prime commanders into rise of kingdoms and so then that opens up the question of which commanders could we possibly see come as prime versions in the future i think there are some pretty obvious ones that could make their way into the game i think sun tzu is a very obvious choice as to a new prime commander that we could see in the future and again this is based on my assumption that they wouldn't go through all the work of redesigning and adding a new element to the uh, icon formula that they've used since the game existed and i think that would be really cool another one i think joan of arc would make a lot of sense to include a prime version and the reason that i picked these two obviously these are well known as some of the most powerful uh, epic commanders in the game right there's some of the fan favorites I also think that these are commanders that are they have recognition right like if somebody downloads rise of kingdoms for the first time at least here in America uh in the United States for example I think people will know the name Joan of Arc they will know the name Sun Tzu and so I think when you when you consider from a developer perspective if they're going to implement a new uh, stronger version of a commander they would want to pick the commanders that are the fan favorites and that are the most recognizable in the game so that's why i think sun tzu and joan of arc are prime candidates for the prime attribute and becoming legendary now what this means uh, from a speculative perspective uh, perspective we have no idea right because if you look at the original cpo who is again a fan favorite cpo perhaps isn't as recognizable at least in the united states um from my experience as sun tzu or joan of arc but he is a very uh, common and popular commander in rise of kingdoms he just looks really really cool he has a, an attractive setup of skills and then of course as you get more advanced in the game you learn that cpo is just not great but i think because of his design and because he is the first epic commander you see on the civilization screen i mean rome is the most left justified and it is the one that is shown by default and i don't think that's a, a mistake i think that that's shown because rome is is well known it's featured in many different movies ancient rome and you know those those movies all feature war right so people know ancient rome goes to war the character design is badass i think from a marketing perspective a new player seeing this commander with ancient rome they'd be like oh that's pretty sick so that's why i think they decided to make a cpo prime but i'm kind of going off on a tangent here what's interesting to note is that cpo from a from the epic version is leadership conquering and attack and we see none of those shared with the new legendary version of cpo it's all entirely different so if we look at Sun Tzu and Joan of Arc and we say okay what would a prime version look like well it's impossible to know I mean like, like literally they changed everything about the original CPO yeah we have nothing to go off of other than it's completely different so if we saw a prime version of Sun Tzu there's a high probability that it wouldn't be an infantry commander or that it wouldn't be a skill tree commander if we look at Joan of Arc there's a high probability that a Joan of Arc Prime wouldn't be an integration commander or that she wouldn't be a support commander but again this is speculation based on speculation so it's literally founded in nothing other than just a fun thought exercise for what could we see in the future it would be cool to see a Sun Tzu leadership commander for example or perhaps a Joan of Arc cavalry commander I don't know what the specifics could be but I do know that if they did release a prime Joan of Arc or a prime Sun Tzu I think people who play Rise of Kingdoms would think that's really cool because these commanders are already ones that people uh, really like and already use a ton as epic versions if there's a specific epic that you would like to see prime in rise of kingdoms i would love to hear from you in the comments section below i know a lot of people love by bars they love bjorn right i think bjorn is he's still relatively new to the game he's less than a year old in the game so if they added another bjorn already I don't know if that would actually make sense but yeah i would love to hear from you guys what do you think of some of these epic commanders and you know if they did refresh one of them and make them good and usable which one would you like to see and now for the good stuff we're gonna be spinning the wheel of fortune for cpo africanus 
<sighs> I'm gonna need a drink for this now before we spin the wheel this is the second day of the wheel of fortune and that's because I was not home yesterday I was traveling but I didn't want to miss out on the first day of the CPO wheel so if we take a look at how many sculptures I've obtained I put two skills into the first skills of so two skill points that's 20 sculptures plus 10 to actually unlock him and I have eight here so that's 38 sculptures in 62 spins plus I obviously claimed the free 15 as well so without further ado let's go ahead and use our free spin here for CPO now I haven't decided there it is boys there it is. we get the free CP there's nothing better than a free legendary commander sculpture of a commander that you love and use and is powerful now again I haven't decided how much I'm going to spin this wheel I do I will expertise CPO absolutely but do I want to do 100 spins on all the wheels or do I want to max spin two wheels and then just put the rest as universal I'm not really sure but what I do know right now is that the wheel is here and so we're going to be spinning boys um let's see what we get half off we get uh, two million food nothing too crazy there let's go ahead and do our first five spin of the video and what we're looking for is CPO that's right he heard me ladies and gentlemen he knew it now we also could use some universal legendaries that would be awesome as well but considering we're going to be using universals to expertise CPO it doesn't matter whether we get a CPO or universal it's all going to be the same value for us anyway so this is decent two sculptures and five spins nothing uh nothing crazy there and it's interesting uh, oh yo I, I almost thought I almost thought that let's go baby let's go you know it's really interesting oh we're getting a nice five spin here um I, I I think it's interesting that it's been a long time since I've spun the Wheel of Fortune uh on this YouTube channel and if you guys enjoy Wheel of Fortune spins live reactions to these spins go ahead and drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe for more that'll tell me if I should make more Wheel of Fortune videos in the future because these are expensive okay it uses a lot of gems which means I have to spend real money to make these types of videos so I'm only going to do it if you guys like the video if not I'll just spin off of uh, you know off video and it, it is what it is okay let's go ahead and see what we get here we're praying for that eight spot I don't know if I even got the eight spot at all uh in all the spins that I've done for CPO I really I don't think I have but I'm loving the universals I'll take the universals we get two sculptures here once again let's go ahead for that uh an extra five spin I had about 140,000 gems when I started spinning for CPO something along those lines and uh here we are 92k <sighs> baby oh man and we're getting we're getting okay we're getting okay spins but like this one was it's fine the stars I don't know if I really need the stars it's just it's, it's I don't know anyway let's go ahead and keep spinning here we're gonna well uh, we're gonna see what we can get let's see if we can get it done let's see if we can get these uh the eight spot or CPO oh man these double building speed ups is tri triple oh my god dude are you oh oh this has got to be the worst spin of all time this has got to be the worst spin of all time triple building speed ups and a research speed up from an account that is over three years old I don't need any of this garbage okay I don't need any of this garbage I mean the gold is fine but I basically just paid 3600 gems for gold which is trash so that was a disgusting spin but that's okay because we're gonna get the eight spot here on this five spin that's gonna be the that's gonna be the saving grace is that we're gonna get it right now and we did not I got ripped off once again from Lilith nothing new there this is gambling at its finest let's go ahead and do another five spin that puts us one away from the whoa dude come on dude mm, we're one away from the 100 spin reward oh my god these last spins are actually so bad they're actually so bad what we had like a bunch of average spins in the beginning and now look at this no sculptures at all nothing nada zilch oh my god oh no come on dude it's my la dude come on dude don't do this to me give me the eighth spot brother oh my god how many gold stars are you gonna give me i don't need any of these speed ups my guy i don't need any of this shit. i basically just threw 3600 gems into the garbage for a youtube video for you guys for your entertainment there we go we got 15 sculptures let's go let's just do it again let's just do it again let's just rock out let's just vibe out oh my god how many times are you gonna do that to me how many times are you gonna debate me like that come on dude oh my god we're getting such 
okay we got one we got one dude come on we got two okay i'll take two that's fine at least this stuff is usable up here but man we're here for the sculptures we're not here for the other stuff bro we don't need any okay i'll take the universal we'll take the Ooh, bro just give me two just give me okay that's good that's good i'll take that i'll take that boys i'll take that thank you thank you okay all right well we ended there okay let's just we got 10 spins left let's just rock out let's just vibe out okay let's see what we get more uh, building speed ups dude we don't need the building speed ups okay we need none of this this is food like food really i'm down to 67k and you guys want me to oh my what is this dude what is this this is trash this is i want a refund i'm lilith i'm gonna call you dude oh my god okay I, gold is good but like i need the cpo bro i need the sculptures dude i don't need the stars i need the eight spot the eight spot is what's missing in my life we okay we got what was that two sculptures from that one okay man that was actually really stressful uh i got a bunch of doo-doo on those last few rounds there that was a huge gem spend and i am not happy about the outcome but we can get a 5111 cpo from that wheel so we got the first skill maxed out baby now what do we want do you know for moving forward we do we want to guarantee the attack and march speed or do we want to open both of these up i think the infantry health is probably worth getting i think i think we open this whole thing up and that's because again i know i'm going to expertise them so this isn't really a big deal uh if you're you know if you want to do a 5511 cpo moving forward you could go ahead and do that you guarantee the points there that's fine I really like that health on the third skill so I'm gonna be trying my luck on it but man some of the reports coming out of CPO already are insane people are getting some interesting reports with like CPO Sun Tzu and I know it's not that reliable but man oh man is CPO a beast if you guys haven't unlocked him yet definitely try to get enough gems to at least unlock him from this Wheel of Fortune he is very good and is probably going to be a staple of every single account moving forward in this game but anyway guys if you enjoyed the video uh make sure you comment down below what prime commanders you want to see in the future do you want lilith to continue to make prime commanders or do you want them to just focus on making new ones and cpo prime be the only prime that exists in the game if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so help me beat the algorithm also if you're new here subscribe to the channel and even if you think you're subbed go ahead and check because about 80 percent of you guys are not subscribed so go ahead and click that button if you don't like the content in the future you could just unsub that's fine with me and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace spit on my mic i think jesus